the uh, counseling department is the hub of a school. We are the information people that everyone comes to for all answers. Whether we have the answers or not, they call us first. Guidance has changed tremendously from when I first started. It's more than just guiding people. There's more to it in counseling them and encouraging them to be their own self-advocate and to move on. We facilitate student success academically, social emotionally, career and college preparation. We, we like to say we're the wind beneath their wings. You know, we're sort of behind the scenes. We're not in front of the classroom teaching them every day, but we're here to provide support, resources, access to information, to basically guide them to their success, whatever their success looks like. Um, but we help them identify those things that they need, articulate what kind of supports they can make use of. The door is always open. Students are always coming in. Uh, we assist them with scheduling, we assist them with, with um, um, any type of social emotional issues they may have, um, any, any type of, of uh, academic support that they need. You have a total of 17 credits okay. and it's 22 credits to graduate, mm -hmm. so you need five more credits. Okay. So, you know, you're almost there. Of those five, and, and, and you know, you don't need astronomy, but you do need the global environment. Yeah, I need that one science. Yeah, so that's really important. Colleges do a very good job of marketing themselves, so, so it creates a lot of anxiety among students that they need to do this, they need to do that in order to, to get ahead of life in life. So students are taking more advanced courses uh, earlier in their lives. Our philosophy is that, is that it's great as long as it's something that you can handle. If it's something that puts a lot of stress on you, then, then it's, you should pull back. And we try to you know, let the students know that and, and that um, you know, there's different paths to achieving your goals. I try to minimize stress uh, with my students as much, as much as possible. There is more social support now than there ever has been. A lot of it has to do with our society. We have uh, a hurried child syndrome. We are pushing students to do make decisions quickly. There's a lot of pressures on students, not necessarily from school. School's a big part of their lives. Personally, there are personal issues that families go through. There are health issues. That is constantly being involved with at our school level. So it's so important to have some support here where we can help you get through that social issue so the academic can still be there. A student needs to be able to feel comfortable and able to trust the counselor, that the counselor's there to really not just facilitate their success, but really know them in a way that will allow the student to feel supported without necessarily having to ask for it sometimes. The best way for us to advocate for a student is to know them well and to know how to present them in their best light. You know, um, so we start to get to know the students and their families um, at the middle school level. Well, I've had Miss Callagy um, since ninth grade, and she's helped me with scheduling just for my classes. She's helped me choose which classes were best for me, for what I wanted to do in the future. Um, even when I didn't know what I wanted to do in the future, uh, she guided me in the direction, in the right direction of what um, to choose and what path to go on. In community service and things that I thought would be hard, she helped me, she gave me ideas on what to do. And um, especially the college part of everything, which I thought was gonna be like really stressful and everything like that, Miss Calgary really helped me. The biggest change would be the advent of technology. You would sit with a large book and you would look through and find maybe three, 4,000 colleges and you had to go through it. Now students can have an, a program where they will put in their likes or dislikes, their, uh, what they would, uh, how far away they want to be, how big of a school, city, not a city, and these databases will churn up a whole list for them much faster than we could do through a piece of paper. Not that long ago, we would have to do mailings of transcripts and letters of recommendations and all that stuff. Now we push a button and they get it immediately. But also in-house things like scheduling is online. Back in the old days, we, we would schedule students by hand. It, it took a tremendous amount of time. Now they have these powerful programs where students are scheduled, the master schedule is done, and we're, it frees up our time to really meet with them and advise them on what to take and, and things like that. So. Uh, attendance is online, so we have, you have much more time to, to meet with students, sit down, talk with them, advise them, uh, help them out. Our objective is that everyone who graduates has a plan, a plan for continued learning. And regardless of what that looks like, 
it, that as long as there's a plan in place, then we feel like we've been successful. Mm -hmm.